Gonna be a hell of a journey. That's what it's about, man. I go to bed and I sleep like a baby. Shit is not easy, but you don't want to live your life like you, like that. If it was easy, everyone would go do it. That's facts. That's a hundred percent true. Hundred percent. What's up, guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I've done. Um, in the past week to really improve my swim. So um, in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna you know display kind of what's going on with uh, the last swim workout I tried, which Natasha had me do 100 meters um, as fast as possible. And honestly, it felt like I was gonna drown. And uh, literally like halfway through, I had to stop three or four times just to catch my breath and not puke. Um, but I've gotten so much better at swimming and I'm gonna show you guys the difference in videos in this clip as well. Um, but a week ago I could barely swim. Now I can swim uh, a lot better. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I've been doing to improve that. So we're headed down to Austin to do that. We're gonna also hit a lift at BPN. And then one thing I do wanna say is I am giving away my Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. All you gotta do is like this video and comment. And just run up the comments and this could be yours. This means a lot to me because I did accomplish like pretty many things with it through preps. So I want to hand it down to uh, somebody else and, and have them kill it with it. So that's the plan. All right, so we are on our way to uh, grab some coffee because I need some caffeine. I'm actually like feeling yesterday's workout. So yesterday what I did was woke up at like 5.30 in the morning, drove down to Austin. Like that's where I'm running most of my workouts. And uh, we ran Lady Bird Lake. Did like a three mile loop and then did some like track stuff. After that, um, I went right into an hour long swim and that killed me. But what I realized is the swimming is like anything else. The more consistent you are, the better you're gonna get at it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Just show you guys exactly what I, my routine is every time I get in the water to make sure that like my aerobic fitness and in swimming increases. So we're also gonna kill some weights as well. So we are going into Dutch Bros. Um, for those that don't know, it's like the southern, I think it's like the southern Starbucks. I mean, they still have Starbucks down here, but uh, this is just, for me, it's kind of new, so I like it a little better. But they have nitro cold brew, and that's what I get at uh, Starbucks. So we're gonna rip this, and then, cause I need some caffeine before I swim. So that's the plan. We're headed down to Lifetime. Um, this is what I got. It's nitro cold brew. So if you're down south and you have one of these, get um, sugar-free chocolate and sugar-free vanilla. But yeah, this is all I'm gonna have. I didn't eat anything yet, but I'll obviously show you guys what I have after all this. All right, so we finally made it into a lifetime. I got the beanie cap that I'm gonna throw on, and uh, this is what we're gonna be wearing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there it oh, is right yeah. there. No. Yeah, you do. You put it over here? Yeah. All right. No way, is this what it looks like? All right, so we got the cap on. Are you sure they go over here? Yeah, for sure. Right. So this is all you're gonna use is flippers and then a board. This is what I've been using to really excel in my swim. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump in the pool and I'm gonna show you everything I've been using, just those two things. That, that's all I've been using to get to the point where I'm at. So uh, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna be talking in this video and doing a voiceover review, but here I wanna explain what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm sucking in my belly button, keeping the hips on top of the water and focusing on trying to keep the legs straight. So what we do is we do two laps, so down, back, down, back. That's a warm up for that. Next, to focus on arm positioning and making sure that we're high up and pushing through the water. Because of what I was doing at the beginning was I was coming down like this in the water like this. What you wanna do is push through. So that's what we're gonna work on. So this exercise just really works on the stroke. Yeah, here we go. Here again, we're gonna work on something similar. So instead of just you know keeping two hands on the board, we're gonna add in one hand at a time. And basically what this does is it just helps you get in the motion of meeting two hands at the front when you swim. 
Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't pull the other hand back when you actually swim. You want to keep them both in line together. Uh, I made the mistake originally by you know doing the stroke but pulling the hand too fast. You want both of them out in front um, as it's going to be more surface area in the water keeping you afloat better and longer. So what we did there uh, was focusing on one arm. I'm out of breath. That actually is a good workout. So four sets of the first exercise, four sets of this, and then we're gonna go into swimming without the fins, without the kickboard, just using our feet. So that's the next one. Now we're just gonna swim, just really focusing on keeping the hips up, sucking in, and also, uh, you know, finishing through with our stroke. I'm gonna feel this one. I'm always winded by the time I get to the end of the pool. Just so, help. here we go. Be a hell of a journey. Those, uh, those like, those laps kick the shit out of me. But what's gonna come is my endurance and breathing. That's the hardest part for me. If I could breathe properly, I can swim forever. I think. Yeah. All right, that is everything that I've been doing to get better. Nothing crazy, just getting in the pool, focusing on the little things first, and then going on to putting everything together and thinking about that. So, yeah, that is a swim workout. All right, so uh, finish up the swim, I'm pretty good. Is really easy. Uh, I have an hour bike later, but we're gonna lift. Um, but I am looking for places to eat. Yeah, do you know if uh, there's any good places? Like, what are, what are you hungry for? I don't even know where we are right now. What are you hungry Ooh, for? In South Austin for a barbecue. Barbecue? Yeah. I can't eat barbecue. Bro. That's later. That's later. So, <laughs> this is what we got at Cava. Basically, what I do with everything. I, I maxed out the protein, so we got double chicken, rice, um, cucumbers, tomatoes. And basically, this is what I eat like if I was at home. Um, I keep everything the same, around the same nutrients. Um, I know it digests well, so that's why I order when I go out. Always got a protein and like simple carb source. So, yeah, we're gonna have this, and then we have this lifting session over there. The Trail Boss Chevy. It's either that my next truck that's my ford or it's a ford raptor or a ram trx this is like what i'm deciding on so drop in the comments what i should get all right so we're here with frankie when's your marathon Dude, he has a New York accent. Yeah. I actually just said it. He just <laughs> said it. New York. New York. New York. Uh, we're gonna hit shoulders. Probably go pretty heavy. I'm gonna go heavy. Right, on he's this. gonna he's gonna go heavy. I'm gonna keep try and keep up with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I I feel like I'm. I, you you're so far into prep. I know. So like me, it's Feeling like it. I'm strong right now, but it's definitely gonna, gonna come off. Yeah, for sure. it'll catch up for sure. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. Give the shoulders hell. Bad day to be awake. Let's run it. Light weight.
was happy. Can I answer Frankie's question, bro? What sense? What's your question? How many sets of... Oh, I don't know. Uh, stop moving we'll on. do four. How do you go four as many as... Bro, don't, as don't humiliate me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm zooming in on the way. <laughs> I'm not just focused on running. It's swimming, biking, and running, so it's like different each day. Marathon training is like same shit. But yeah, honestly, that was one of the hardest things I did. I think. Bro, that was fucking impressive. Yeah, <laughs> that was hard. Jeff said, and he said, if I I want to go for a marathon, he thinks I have sub three if I run the flat course. If I prep for it. I mean, yeah, you gotta think that course was brutal. That was hard. Yeah. 700 feet elevation, and you ran 321. Yeah. You came out at like a six minute pace. Yeah, I ran 630s <laughs> until mile 18. <laughs> and then I lost it. <laughs> I died. I died. All right, we're gonna go 110s. Oh, that was I'm gonna try and get five. Stronger than I actually was. <laughs> At least we send it. I work construction. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I worked construction for four years, but you've probably been doing it. For... I was no, I did a four. I was in the union four years. Concrete. Are you still in the union? I have my car. But, yeah. You know. I actually got my CDL not too long ago. Really? That's so good I to drive. Have. Yeah. I did it because I didn't know what I was going to do after college. Yeah. So I could always drive a truck. Yeah, bro. If uh, Young LA and DTN yeah. doesn't is in here. Big money. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll go to the hundreds since those one tens weren't moving like I wanted to. So the worst you can do, in my opinion, is to back down too much. Find that weight that you can push for a good amount and keep that intensity. So I'm gonna try and get at least five here. both train endurance and uh, you know like what would you call endurance and muscle try to be a weapon that's what we do but in order to keep on muscle I think you got to train heavy the reason being is you got to give it a reason to stay if you train light I think the muscle actually you lose it because it has no reason to stay your body's like okay what do I need this for I'd rather prioritize endurance when you do both um, like for strength training if that stimulus is is really intense the muscle is not going to leave um, whereas if it's light it's going to be like okay i obviously don't need you here that's just my my like gym bro but i think it works i mean it works for me so all right so when i come in here i want to hit all areas of the shoulder so as you just saw we just hit the delt um the outside of the delt there doing these um, and then here um, earlier we did shoulder press which hit the front delt so just literally hitting as many parts of the shoulder as we can and then moving on to something else uh, like biceps probably um, and that's kind of how I train I hit make sure I hit the entire muscle of whatever I prioritize and hit something smaller so today we're probably gonna hit arms after this
All right, so there's two things that I do. And I switch up each week. Number one is at first, sometimes I'll pyramid um, with strength training. So I'll start light and move heavy. And then depending on how I feel, I'll go heavy first and then light today. Like I said, we're going light first and then working our way up into heavier sets. But if I feel like I'm not getting enough strength training in, I'll start off my workouts with heavy sets. And instead of going to a pyramid, we go down. Um, so that's kind of how I train. bike later that's what it's about man I go to bed and I sleep like a baby shit is not easy but you don't want to live your life like you like that if it was easy everyone gonna do it that's facts that's a hundred percent true hundred percent So we finished up a workout. So with that being said, train heavy in the weight room and go hard in endurance. That's the definition of being a weapon. So I'm gonna show you guys what I eat after this. But check out the pump. This is weighed in at 215 today, this morning. And then I was 217 after food. But 215 in the morning, that's slowly gonna go down after Iron Man prep. So Guys just got back from a workout. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing to meal prep my meals and make it super efficient. This big bowl of rice. So I use this right here with um, these rotisserie chicken packs that you can get from HEB. I use these two in, um, to help with meal prepping when I don't have time to make chicken, but this is how I make my rice. It's a rice cooker and pretty much it cooks this huge bowl of rice that I don't have to worry about. I can just throw these two together so that's what we're gonna do and this will be dinner. Now this is the most important part we're gonna throw in some barbecue sauce. Can't get it open. Ugh. <laughs> So this, so right here is our chicken, eight ounces of chicken, and 230 grams of rice soaked in chicken broth. So to wrap up the video, this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. As I always say, if you fail to repair, be prepared to fail. I have all this prep food made and it makes a huge difference. When I come home tired after a full day of training, um, I don't have any excuses. I can hit my goals pretty easy because it's already planned out. So with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, stay corn fed. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.